don't think for one minute that you even got that big money contract. You said you did. If I don't get my money by the end of the month, I'll tell him everything. Oh, they gave him a trial and he blew it. It hasn't gone any further than that. They haven't asked him back. You're saying that he never actually had a contract. You just made this whole thing up. I mean, your dad hates you. Your mum's fucked off. You've got no fucking friends and you've got no prospects. It's a brain tumour. You're gonna be a grandmother. You've probably got a lot of questions. Yeah. You could leave as well. What? Could be a late one. Don't wait up. I've got a few. It's a bit weird, isn't it? It's not a bit weird. Yeah. You know how I said, you know, paying weekly and, and all that. Oh, well, actually, it turns out, you know, paying monthly is a bit easier, so is that alright? He's always going out, always an excuse for not to be home. That's, uh, that's right. He works this time. Well, could you tell him that Rob got one? I said, I'll give you the money as soon as possible. Well, that's... So you paid £100 now and got £100 left of the last month. Um, but the next month's rent is due soon. That's £300 altogether. Are you sure you're going to be able to do that? He should know that Eric's been worried sick about him. But it's not our place to get involved. I don't want it to be awkward. Well, how's it going to be awkward? Because we've asked him over for dinner. The last thing he will want is you going on about how he should get in touch with his dad. I won't be going on about it, Frank. I'll just sort of drop it into the conversation. I'm just saying it's not our place. Oh. He's a grown up now. We need to stay out of it. I really think... No, just leave it. Sorry, who's that you're talking about? Oh, our nephew, Jaden. Have you still got to clean upstairs? I don't think I'm going to have time today. You know how bad the kitchen was. I only cleaned it last night. Well, you know how bad the kitchen can get with all the grease and stuff. <sighs> you're in love with this, Stacey, aren't you? Nah, go on, like, are we going to have a kickabout or are you just going to sit there texting Stacey all day? I'm not texting Stacey. It's not anyone, actually. I'm just thinking. Alright. Well, what's worrying you? Who said anything was worrying me? Well, I can tell by your face. Has something happened? Right. So don't judge me for this. No? But I'm thinking of getting into contact with Cat. What? The Cat? You know, yeah, it's just Michael and his dad. I don't know, they, they're just standing there. I'm not sure. He's been a bit funny, you know, since he divorced his wife. Yeah, I know, well... Yeah, we would like to go. It's just that, you know, we're saving the money. What with, um, I know. Well, Dale is saving all the money as much as he can, but he's working non-stop at the cafe. You know what I mean? It's, it's not, it's not easy. But I'm excited and I'm sure we can make it. Yeah, I, I, I know. All right, okay, love, let, let me put the camera phone on, all right? I just put the camera on, okay? Oh, Roy wants to say hello. Roy, come and 
say hello to Sandra. Uh, hello, Sandra. Oh, hello, Roy. I was just thinking of you. Uh, there was a good documentary on Channel 5 the other day about cows and how they milk them. I thought it'd be right up your street. It was absolutely fascinating stuff, I can tell you. Yeah, I'll be sure I'll watch that, Roy. Thank you. I'm just putting this here for Maureen as I keep forgetting to go to the cash point. You know what? We must be mad. What do you say that for? Well, why are we paying that woman? She causes more mess than she cleans. I mean, this morning, she spilled milk on that bench and spent half an hour cleaning it up. That's half an hour for two hours we're paying for. What a waste. Yeah, well, we can't exactly tell us to stop coming, can we? Well, why not? You might as well just be giving money to strangers. It's a total waste of money. I'd better go and get the dinner on. So I'm just thinking, well, I'm hoping they give me some form of closure. Do you want my honest opinion? Yeah. Well, with the way Ross is, maybe, just maybe, this is the only way forward. It's just, well, nah, come on, it's fine. No, go on, what are you, you going to say? Well, from what I've heard, this cat sounds like a nutcase. Yeah. And who's to say she's going to be honest and open with you? Yeah, well, there is that, yeah. And I'm not making any judgments. It's just, maybe you don't get your hopes up. No, 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 I won't. Don't worry. I'm just, I'm hoping she chooses to do the right thing for once. Well, so do I. Because then, you'll have a clear head and you'll be banging in the goals again. So that's what this is about, yeah? Football. Well, you know the old saying, Liam? Which one? That's quite a few. Football is not just a matter of life and death. It's way more than that. <laughs> Brilliant. Mm. Where'd you hear that one? Dunno. Probably like Facebook or something. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> to Audrey on the phone. Well, I know we've got to get saving, but I'm very excited about going to Spain. I mean, with all the extra work you're putting in, it shouldn't be a problem, should it? It's going to be so lovely going to Spain. Get away from this place and from him next door. I'm sure he's getting worse. He's still standing on the street with his dad. Oh, I don't know. Well, nice. well, I wouldn't get too excited. Tracy only really specialises in this. I heard that, Frank. <laughs> I love winding her up. Yeah, and uh, no Courtney and Liam? Uh, no, Courtney's working late and Liam's with his girlfriend. Okay. Your dad was asking after you, uh, Jade, and you really should get in touch with him, you know. Just think of Tracy. What? I was only saying that Eric's been worried sick about him. It's just leave it. It's not our place to get involved, you know. Look, I'll, I will get in touch. I just need some time. Oh, what? Tracy, just let it go. I was only asking. Uh, is Liam still playing football? Um, yes, he's, he's getting there. You know, he's had a bit of a blip, but um, he's getting there. Right, are you two ladies ready for your trip to London? Yeah, are you sure you two want to come then? I, I'll hardly see you, I'll be spending most of the time with Connor. Hey, hey, I think we can uh, find lots of excitement while we're there. Hi, I've not been to the Natural History Museum for yonks. You'll love it. Way to kill the mood, Mick. That's not exactly what I had in mind. But what about the kids? Oh, that's all right. Philip can look after them. It's only a couple of days, isn't it? Anyway. I need a break from those terrible teenage tantrums of Toby. Oh, come on you two, we'll have a lovely weekend. Um, I'm just thinking, is this the one where Arnie confronts the guy on the bridge at the end and ends up arresting him before he can escape to Mexico? 
minute of their two and a half hours on the surface was programmed. Rock and soil samples were to be collected, photographs taken, experiments set up to catch unfiltered particles from the sun to record moon quakes. You know what I mean? Precisely yeah. How's it going? Yeah, not so bad. Mine's makes a pretty good lasagna. Oh, also, I have this for you. I know it's nowhere near what I owe you, but it's a start now. Okay, thanks. Well, that leaves you with 80 to pay for last month, and like I said, this month is due in a few days. Yeah, no, I know, mate. Only 40 horses? 